hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Impossible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey, I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know, I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon.
need to find Nathan and take him down. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. So why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren tonight? I will. He left already, but we're going to map out our drive-in date later. Warren wants to go to dinner first, so that'll be fun. Is that cool with you, Max? Yes, it's great. Brooke, I'm happy for you. And Warren. I'd like to see you happy instead of waiting. Thanks, Max. Though I feel selfish talking about a boy considering Kate and the Arcadia Bay echo meltdown. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Energy drinks. So are energy drinks. I know somebody has the news. There's Courtney drinking alone without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Sick. Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? 
Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. When I saw them together, I came over to cry like a little bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin, but you're a cool, considerate guy, and you're gonna find somebody just as cool, just minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense, and your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin, and I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. No, seriously, I'm out of here. Oh, and everything isn't so fuzzy. The tide is turning. Ugh, gross. How did this even get here? This is my last yes, vortex Good night, party. sweet prince. Oh no. Not again. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. You don't wrap it up. Chloe must be around. Not anymore. I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list, okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> get it? Hey, 
Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, oh my god, you're done. And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. some dank OG buds. Oh, I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? No. I want to find Nathan. Me too! He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope at the party you actually planned a party at the party. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you could sit down and take a quick hit. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking wrecked. Maybe you better take it easy to me. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Max, look at you go, girl! Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. How has Nathan been scary? I've always thought he was a creeper. Fun, but you can tell he doesn't give a shit about anybody. Is this why you want to be in a Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm, like, far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan, so you should avoid any drink here tonight. But trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan's around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor, and give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their un- I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Oh. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, in Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. You're the one who got suspended, Max. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. So I'm not the only problem child here. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have 
have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out without attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were abaddon -esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? How can I tell you? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her son in the dark. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. Scaly treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint. And I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks. And I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria. I'm glad I am. Hope that oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody comes. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide him. So you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. You can't be rapping now. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought 
about Adrian. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Nathan, if you're not going to be cool. Oh, I hate this place. If you're yelling, please. So creepy out here. Chloe, come over here, quick. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh! No! 